Hey guys, Pamplier on the Volt server, and today um, I'm going to teach you um, how to use conveyor belts. Uh, it's a new thing, part of a mod called Assembly Lines, uh, and um, it's kind of useful, similar to uh, pipes in, uh, in Tekkit, if you're familiar with Tekkit, but a little bit different, a lot, a lot simpler to use, and just overall kind of different. Yes, the assembly line mod. Today I'm just going to show you the basics on how to get a conveyor belt working, moving items from one chest to another. So, to get started, the things you'll need are the conveyor belts and something called a manipulator, which is this thing right here. Now, first off, the actual convey, convey, your belt, if I could spell conveyor belt. Close enough, okay. Now, for that, you'll need two logs of some sort, a motor, and three steel ingots. Now, you're probably not familiar with steel or er, with uh, making motors, so I'll show you. Mm. It's just uh, four copper wires or insulated wires, same thing, and five steel ingots. So I'm just gonna grab this, go to the crafting bench, and build it up, and we should be. Getting a motor and the crafting bench doesn't like me again. Okay, cool. No problem. Um, motor. Oh no, that's why you need an iron ingot. Okay. Um, let's see, iron ingot. So, okay, back to work. Sorry, I misread that. And boom, motor. Now, now that we have the motor, we can make the conveyor belt. We'll need a bit more steel and the logs. Just put it right here. Two logs and a motor, and you get ten of them. So not a bad deal for uh, what you're uh, getting. Now, also, what you'll need is the manipulator. Manipulator. Um, and for this, it's just a dispenser and either control circuit or a basic circuit. So as I always do, I'm going to go with the control circuit, dispenser, control circuit, and you get manipulators. Now the manipulators are used to take things in and out of the chest and or machinery. Now the main reason I'm kind of explaining conveyor belts now is because of this machine. Um, as I explained in the episode about this, like it can only have one thing in its output before it needs to be taken out so we can do another one. So I'm going to see if I can hook a manipulator and a conveyor belt up to this and to a chest and stuff so that I can just kind of more automate how this thing works. So now we're going to uh, go outside and just test it out somewhere where I have a bit of open space. Like right here. This will work because I need access to also to these power cables. Ah oh, crap, I'm going to set the alarm off probably a couple times. Oh well. So. Uh, and now if you place the uh, conveyor belts down, you get something like this. Oh, and also you'll need a, a wrench because the wrench is quite useful. You can rotate it however you want. And also if you hold shift and click, you can turn it into a ramp going up or down. Or you can put it on the top of the block just for the heck of it. Or put it back down on the bottom. However you like, just kind of more for aesthetics and or dealing with the environment that you're, you're stuck with. Now I'm going to put the chest down, here will be the end chest, oh wait no, you can't put the chest down, you need the manipulator. I only kind of figured out how this worked kind of earlier today, so uh, yeah, pardon any mistakes. Now place this down, and this is wrong, so rotate it, and shift click, shift right click, so it's an output, oops, I'm probably going to do that a lot this episode. Okay, and rotate it like this. This one's an input. Now, for the output, you're going to need a uh, redstone signal. So I'm just going to... Now, how this one works is every time that you power with a redstone signal once, it will send out one item. So you're either you're going to need to make some sort of redstone clock to power this, or just sit here and constantly flick the lever, which is what I'm going to do this episode, because I'm not going to bother you with redstone mechanics. Anyways, now we need to uh, power this up. 
Now, I suggest that you get your own kind of energy cube for this conveyor belt because it's constantly sucking out electricity. Not a lot, like one of these um, advanced solar generators can uh, completely power a conveyor belt of like this size. So, yeah. That's kind of all you need for it, and whatever. Yeah, shut up a lot. Don't know why I set that up at the entrance. Okay, so that's powered up, I guess. Now I'm going to have the um, wire go down below, because it needs to be powered from underneath the conveyor belt. And similar to redstone tracks, it will power many of them next to them, I think like up to 20. Now these are working. And you can kind of tell they're working because they make a variety of different Minecraft noises, if you just listen carefully. And yeah, so now we can test this out. I'm going to put uh, the dirt in here. And just going to flick the lever. Dirt, 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 and this is how conveyor belts work. Now, if you try to pick up the dirt while it's on the conveyor belt, you can't do it, because it's kind of its own entity when it's on the conveyor belt, which is good, so people won't like try to steal your dirt if you're uh, trying to transport it. Oh, crap, sorry. So yeah, and basically for uh, my series, what I intend to do with this is I'm probably... That was creepy. Um, anyways, what I'm intending to do with this is I'm probably going to build a second building away from the house. More like a, uh, a missile silo so that uh, Septimus doesn't see where I'm firing my missiles from. And I'm probably going to build it out of the, uh, the raw carbon, or not the raw carbon, the carbon-based blast proof rock thing so that it doesn't get blown up and yeah so I'm just gonna use this to like transport items to and from these areas and it will be wonderful I'm gonna try this flying dirt awesome little buggy, but it works. Yes, now you have fun ways to transport your dirt, or just give yourself <laughs> your own moving sidewalk. Whee! Just remember, it does suck up a bit of power, but, you know, if power is not an issue for you, you'll be fine. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment, do something about this video, if you liked it or whatever. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.